Hello, hello, it's Oren Prunkin and today I want to talk about who your best pro prospect is. Now, I've been playing ice hockey for almost 25 years now, uh, since the mid-90s and when I think I was 12, I started. So I've been playing for a really long time and uh, half the joke is you think I'd be better at ice hockey than I am given that much time, but that's another point. But over those years, I have played every position except goalie, so I've played center, I've played left wing, right wing, I played defense, so left defense, right defense, but I haven't played goalie. I've played five of those field, quote unquote, field positions, even though they're on ice. Now, currently I play defense only because very few people like playing defense and probably about uh, five or six years ago, uh, the team I was playing for didn't have any defenders. They had all uh, moved on or moved to different clubs and moved to different teams. So they needed a defender and I just put my hand up and I've been playing defense ever since. Uh, but I spent a lot of my younger years playing forward. So I know a lot of uh, the positions and I know um, how to play them, but I also uh, know how to play against other opposition, especially if I'm a defense, uh, playing against you know forwards, in their attack zone so I know how to um, play against other players because of that experience and what I have learned is that there are two easy ways to go and score a goal now I'm gonna give you the easy way and I'm gonna give you the hard way uh, but I'm gonna give you the hard way first the hard way um, is if you are a defender and the puck is in your defense zone so around your goal and you pick it up and then you skate the entire length of the rink, so coast to coast as it's called, and you pass all of their forward plays, so you get past three of their forward plays, then you get past two of their defenders, so you've passed five plays, and then you are able to shoot and score against the goalie, and you have passed them, so that's six players, and you should score the goal one end to the other, uh, and it looks really impressive. You're the hero, yeah, and it looks amazing, right? But skating coast to coast and getting past those amount of players requires a ton of skill, but also a ton of athletic ability. And the problem is when you get down to the other end and you shoot and you miss the goal, what happens is there's a turnover and then their team starts to break it out the other way and you've got to do what's called back checking and skate all the way back to your defensive position and you are absolutely wrecked. So not only did you not get a goal, you didn't get a goal, but you're also wrecked. Uh, and it's not very impressive. Really, 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 really hard to do. And if you do that over and over again, uh, nothing comes of it and you just uh, want to sleep for two days. Now the easy way to score goals is if you have the same scenario, you're breaking out from your defensive zone, so that your goalie's got it, they pass it to a defender, the defenders skate for a little bit out of the defensive zone, and then they pass it up to the wingers or the center, and then the wingers and the center pass it back and forth into the offensive zone against their goalie, and they shoot. And ideally, they score, so there's far less effort from all of them. Now, there's an even easier way for that to happen, is the very first, uh, of your forwards takes it in close to the goal. The second forward comes in and stands on the opposite end of the goal, ready for a rebound or a shot in. Now that second defender has really done not a lot of effort. They've skated into the um, into the offensive zone. They haven't had to pass any of the other team's players, and they just wait by the post of the other goal for the other team player to get past at least one or two defenders and then pass to them. And all they need to do is tap it in the goal. So, so easy. Now, by analogy, that is what you should be doing with your marketing and sales. Now, how does that look and how does that translate into uh, what is happening in the business world? Now, first off, your very best prospect is someone, the puck, that has got past all of the other players, all of the objections, all of the education, around is there a problem what's the solution what are the products out there and then you your product is that second attacker sitting on the goal post just ready to take a prospect who is unhappy with all of the other solutions they've been educated about what the problem is what the solutions are but they're just unhappy with what those solutions are and you're ready to take them because you're doing something better or different and you take them and then you put them 
into the goal. That is who your ideal prospect is. It's someone that has been educated by all of your competition. They've been taken from one end of the ice to the other, coast to coast, and you're just standing on the goal, uh, the goal post ready for that last uh, deflection in or rebound in once they are really unhappy with all the other education. Now, what you don't want to be doing is what looks like a hero going coast to coast as a defender passing five of their players solo, trying to get it in, hoping, and if you miss it, you're exhausted and you spend all this effort to get there. So hopefully this has been useful and this analogy um, makes a little bit of sense to you, but that is how um, that is who your best prospect is, but also how you go about getting them in a roundabout way. So have a look at all the stuff you're doing. Let me know how you go with it because I love hearing from people. And until we talk next time, I hope you have a fantastic day and like always, goodbye. Thanks for listening. And if you like what was on here and want more, please go to orenprunken.com.